Hey, this is Jacob at SalesPad. Today we're going to take a look at setting up packages within SalesPad. Now a package is um, started out as a kit in GP, so you would have to have a kit set up first um, on the GP side. And what we allow you to do is if you designate this kit item as a package, when we add that, uh, that line or that kit to the sales line, or to the sales order, we automatically convert it to a package, which we flip the main kit line to a non-inventory item, and then add all of the components on as a um, as individual lines on the sales document. But we do group them together um, as being part of a package, and there's some additional functionality that you have there as well. To set up a package in SalesPad, um, we need to go into our settings module. Um, so if we scroll down and select settings. Um, there are some things that we need to set up so I'm going to type in pack as my filter and this returns a couple of different things um, these three here are the main ones that I'm concerned with right now the package indicator this is what will need to be put into the item description of your kit item to let salespad know that you want to treat this as a package now as opposed to a kit um, as long as we then will strip that um, this character or these list of characters um, out of or string of characters out of the description for you so that they don't print on the report. Um, the next piece is the package item prefix. So once we convert a, a kit to a package, the main kit line gets converted to non inventory and we will um, append this or prepend whatever you've typed in here as the beginning portion of that kit item. Then we also use this package smart field. This is where we store, um, or this is how we group components together that, that they're all part of the same package by updating uh, the value in this user field. Now this needs to be set up in your user field editor as a sales line user field. Once that's set up, then you type the field name in here and you're ready to go. Now from the order entry side, once you have a package set up, and those are the three things that you need set up to have to use the package. Um, I'm going to go into a new order and I'm going to add a new sales line and I'm just going to go into my inventory lookup real quick. So from my inventory lookup I'm going to do a blank search and under my item type I'm going to look for any of my GP kits. So you'll notice that there are some GP kits that are here that have the package indicator added. So here's my PKG in parentheses. Again this can be anything that you set up but it has to match what you've, spec what you've specified in the settings. So these two kits would be returned to the sales document as an actual package, no longer a kit. Whereas this does not have that indicator in the description, so therefore it will still be added to the sales document as a regular GP kit. So you can use the combination of the two. You don't have to set kits up as packages, and um, so you can use one or the other. So in this case, this is I'm going to pull this one back onto the order. This HDB-001 is a kit item from GP that I'm going to convert to a package. So when I select it, if you notice, it converts my HDB-001 and prepends that package indicator onto the front. And then it pulls my other lines or my components from that kit onto the order as individual sales lines. And then you see my tree here on the right side that groups those together. So that is the way that a package appears on the screen. Now some additional functionality since this is a package is if I change my quantity and say that I need 10 of these packages and hit tab, it prompts me to roll my quantity down. My quantity then for each component will adjust based off of the quantity per from the kit setup out of GP. Um, also, if I decide, I can now switch out components if I want this to be, um, instead of an HD30, if I want an HD120 there instead, I can switch that component out. It still sees it. I would have to manually change my quantity, but it still sees that it is a, a new component of that package now just for this order. Um, the last thing is, if I select the main package line and hit delete, it deletes the entire package off the order for me. So that is how you use packages in SalesPad along with your setup in your settings. Um, and those are the, th the, the three settings that, that you need to set up. Um, thanks for watching. This is Jacob at SalesPad.